I mean, broadly speaking, we, we welcome it because obviously any, any policy that focuses on the importance of active travel, as they call it, basically people walking and people cycling, is, is crucial. This is something we have been campaigning for, for a long time, so we welcome it. The only problem is that we have a number of reservations about it uh, to begin with because there is no time frame offered as to when these measures are going to be implemented, neither is there a dedicated budget. So we feel that until we have a time frame and, and we know exactly how it's going to be paid for and when it's going to be paid for, that is not very meaningful. I, I, I mean, I think it is important to have pavements in good condition, but I think it's more important to have pavements in certain streets and roads when, when we don't have them. Um, but I think there are other issues too as to why people don't walk. Um, I think partly it's just bad habit um, on, on the part of many people. You know, they're just used to using the car and that's it. So there have to be measures that will encourage them to walk and measures that will dissuade people from using the car so that it's not convenient to use the car and it's more convenient to walk or use public transport. Basically, we would like uh, it to be illegal to, to be stopped somewhere and, and have a car or a bus idling. And it needs to be enforced like so many things. I mean, there are lots of rules and regulations regarding traffic in, in Gibraltar, but unfortunately, they're not, they don't seem to be enforced a lot of the time.